Hi guys, this is Riptiron, and this is my world. This is Thimbleland, one of the first. And Thimbleland, I started uh, after one of my first worlds, after coming back of a year of reprieve from Minecraft. Um, I first played in Alpha, and... <clears throat> Alpha was great, but uh, it, Minecraft just kept getting better and bigger and better and bigger. Um, I never really had any trouble with Broken Worlds because I took about a year off and did not play. And a lot happened in that time. One of the things that happened is... Uh, 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 I basically uh, moved, and um, anyway, I was at Derpacraft for about a full year and learned so much there that I came back to this world and decided that I needed to totally revamp and catch up. This is this world was started in one six four. And I've played it since then, and I've done two major upgrades, one to 7.4, and the biomes exploded around me and really kind of screwed up the game for me in that regard, but I'm dealing with that. Um, and the other thing is that um, uh, because the biomes is so huge, um, I have to do some major work in the nether. Uh, after coming back from Derpacraft, I learned, like I said, I learned so much there that this world got way behind. I did not have any beacons. I did not have an iron farm. Um, and by the way, this is a 28 village Tango Tech iron foundry design. I just could not could not build the uh, the full 60 or 44 village version because the platform was stuck in the side of a mountain and I did not have beacon power at the time so I needed desperately to get this thing running and <clears throat> maybe in the future I will redo it and, re and well I've redone it three times actually uh, one thing led to another. I got cut off in the nether and power went out and I lost the village. It collapsed when it, when I came back online. Anyway, um, I've done lots of renovations around here. As you can see, there's lots of new things to look at. Um, here's where all the poppies go. My poppy farm is doing gangbusters. But let's go out to the nether fortress where I do my wither skull hunting. Now this, this farm is... I didn't know what I had when I first came here because I was not very schooled on what... I didn't even know that withers dropped skulls when I first played this world. I was that new to Minecraft and did not know a whole lot about the game. Uh, had not followed a lot of the uh, videos and uh, just did not know. Okay, this is a dangerous place for obvious reasons. There are lots of these guys around. And the reason there are lots of these guys around is, you see this intersection? This intersection goes out about, I think it's a 15 wide intersection. In other words, from here on out to about the middle of this one and this one, this is two intersections, and somewhere in the middle there's a dividing line. But when you get two of them up, butted up against each other, the yeah, the intersection goes from about right here all the way out, and then it squares itself off right about here, and then it goes all the way out here and all the way out here. All this is spawnable for withers and anything else well there's not just two of them there are three and four of them out there I'm not gonna go over there because these these guys will light me up 
I don't have a fire resist potion at the moment. Anyway, just wanted to show you my fortress. There is so much out here. I got beacon power and it's great and all, but um, it keeps me alive. I got strength, regen, and uh, speed, and I also have uh, resistance. So I am really set for fighting withers out here. But for the most part, uh, I've got about 30 skulls so far, and I've got about 10 beacons set up all in different places. Um, and I am happy with the way I've been half slabbing everything around here. Uh, I've just about got, got it finished, but it is a big, big job. So, yeah, I've gotten about three stacks in the last 20 minutes. Um, there is so much out here. Uh, like I said, I have been playing Derpacraft, and I got off of the videos simply because I could not upload them. And I'm making this short, quick video for you because I want you guys to know about Derpacraft resetting on the 26th. Look for some new videos for Derpacraft. I'm going to be making them and saving them. They may not be uploaded. Um, I need to get a new license. Oh, Really? That did not just happen. He spawned right down here in this dark area. I've got to take care of this. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> I thought I did take care of all this out here. I tell you, I've been chopping down trees like there's no tomorrow. And the reason I've been doing that is for coal. Because I need coal. <laughs> Badly. Uh, I have lit up the entire world. <laughs> it seems that way anyway. I've got to get rid of these spots because, like you just saw, I can't have myself getting shot off a train. That's bad. <laughs> Things that are bad. Okay. Oh, darn it. Thing I can jump up right here. Yay, we're back on track. Sorry for the delay. Um, yeah, there's another spot I need to light up, obviously. Not many of those left, but um, we're going to be getting rid of those. Anyway, 7 4 spawned in this ginormous large biome jungle. Let me tell you, it is large. Not just a little bit large. It is ginormous large. I started this world up in a, on the same seed and flew around and looked at it in a mist, and my entire 6 4 world is engulfed by jungle. In creative, I can't do it here, or I would show you. Um, you can fly for 15 minutes in that direction and not get any other biome but jungle. Pretty much in any direction around spawn, there is at least five minutes of flying in jungle. It is that huge. I have spent like about four hours clearing this section right here. And um, uh, all the wood is gone, but I use some of it here. But there is there is a lot of uh, wood back that I've been using. Uh, obviously, I've been renovating, but uh, pretty much uh, this is one of the big things that I've been doing out here. Uh, 
Yeah, so the reason I brought that up is um, I'm going to be making railways on the roof of the nether. And these are not small tasks. These are huge tasks. The closest biome is 35,000 blocks away in the overworld. That means that it's about 3,500 blocks in the nether. I'm not going to attempt to do that except on the roof of the nether. And by the way, that's the Tango Tech Iron Foundry design. And check him out. He's worth he's worth visiting. Um, but anyway, um, the uh, the entire thing of this is. Um, you need to upgrade your tools, then get yourself beacons, and then do yourself some strip mining because, oh my goodness, uh, I have had so much happen in this world. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, this is the start of my mining, and it is expansive and um, I'm not getting very many diamonds because I'm in the upper layers but this next layer and the one below it's gonna give me the most but I did get enough to make all these new tools I am up to about I think I'm up to about 15 efficiency 5 picks and I, I died so like 4 and 5 pick number 4 and 5 are burned up in lava because of all the work in the nether, I died a couple of times. <coughs> but I wanted to see, I wanted to show you guys and give you a look-see at what I was doing with my time here in Thimbleland. Um, I will be uploading more videos as soon as I get cable. It takes, gosh, an enormous amount of time to upload a video uh, with my current connection. It is damn near impossible. It'll probably take more than eight hours just to get this tiny video out to you. So um, hopefully uh, you will uh, appreciate this. <laughs> but I just wanted to say happy holidays and Merry Christmas and we will see you in the new year with some new videos. Uh, can't wait for Derpacraft. We're going to open up with 1.8 Ultra Hardcore, and we're going to be uh, tearing it up. Anyway, we'll see you. Bye.